And so before we go live, yeah, because they've already seen this a thousand oh, times. I know it. <laughs> You'll be accusing me of sleep. But mm -hmm. I think we've already gone live, Mama. Charlie. <laughs> I hit it. I forgot. Must have hit that button. I was gonna have these chopped up before we went live because y'all seen you a hundred times. But I already hit the button. Oh, I don't know how that happened. Okay, folks. This is real TV. This is real stuff right here. This is real life. Um, I am chopping up onions. I was going to do this and then pop on. Because you all seen me chop onions probably 10,000 times. Seems like we chop a lot of onions, Mama. I know it. Tell them what we'll have. Oh, let's start all over. Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. How are you all doing? <laughs> it's John and Mama here with Coffee Time. And yes, I hit the live button when I put it on the tripod, I guess. So we were just chatting away, Mama. I don't know how long it's been live, uh, but this is just what we do every time. So I was gonna go ahead and chop these up and then go live because the audience has seen me chop onions a thousand times. And Mama accuses me of dragging it on and talking too much, which I probably do. I'm gonna try to do better. Right now, I've got two eggs. Mama, and she's not gonna tell Mama's in a hurry. <laughs> well, I'm both gonna hold this. So. This is gonna be fried meatloaf. Mashed potatoes and sweet peas. I got two eggs. Lord, yeah. Mama, can you slow down enough to hold up just a second? Okay. All right, Mama, go. Hurry. Oh, okay. I got two eggs in. <laughs> Do it. She's got two eggs in here. Mm -hmm. Let me show just in case. I checked them. She's checked them. Now I'm just gonna squirt me some ketchup. I don't measure. I'm sorry. That looks like two tablespoons. That's about uh, two tablespoons of. of Ketchup. And I'm just going to pour just a little cream. I know I didn't get my crackers out. Oh, uh, well, Mama, you might as well use bread today. Crackers is too expensive to put in the meatloaf. No. Have y'all found any crackers? They're just not out there anywhere. Um, there's a shortage on crackers, and I hear there's a shortage on wampum biscuits. I wampum heard that today. Biscuits. Yeah, canned biscuits is short and they're just not out there. Um, anyway, that's just where we are. Hopefully all of it will they'll get caught up with all the shipments and we'll be back to having crackers and all those things in the stores. We see how dependent we are on <clears throat> the deliveries and the, getting the stuff to the stores, don't we? So this is a very small, very small, little yellow onion that mama gave me for chores here on the chore board and here it is and i've chopped it up you don't want it like finely minced and yeah i could have used the uh, the chopper but i just grabbed this knife and went to work on it uh, and this is really the only thing we're going to be chopping so i've just done it the old-fashioned way i like to do it the old-fashioned way sometimes i know y'all can't see me and mama's left you i can't i'm gonna i'm gonna put a glue spin on them for mice them what? sticky pads. I'm gonna put one right here, and when she steps on, <laughs> Johnny, she will be able to move, and you will have to chase her down. When I start, I can't help for moving and doing. I it. know I it. When I'm cooking, and y'all in here, I normally am up and moving around, not quite as much as Mama. But if I stand up, somebody said, John, how come you're always sitting? If I stand up, I'm way above the camera. Mama's way down here. And then the food's down here, it's just so awkward. I've tried it, because some of y'all said that, you know, you couldn't sit and cook. You can get used to it, because I did. But at least this way, I am close to the whatever I'm preparing, and my camera angle works, and Mama's right here. See, if you'll notice, me and Mama is about the same size. As long as you're sitting. As long as I'm sitting down. But when I stand up, I'm at six foot three, and uh, she's five foot two. One, One. Now, I'm One. shrunk. <laughs> Let's get, let's get back, Mama. Okay. Here I'm chasing rabbits, and these people are trying to learn about meatloaf. Well, don't pay any attention. <laughs> I'm just throwing it together today for some reason. This is light bread I'm putting in here. My mommy would put light meat bread in our hamburgers, and I thought she was supposed to do that when I was a little girl all the time. I thought that's the way you fixed hamburger. Did I not know at that time that Mama was stretching that hamburger meat? Well, now let me just tell y'all. And it's good. Uh, yeah, now let me just tell y'all. This right here is ground chuck. 
which you pay a little more, but I believe you get your money's worth in the long run. That's my opinion. This is uh, 5.9. Is this 5.9 pounds? That ain't 5 pounds. Where is it? That's where you're reading. Uh, right here, the net weight. So here, 1.19 pounds. 5.99 a pound. Ridiculous. So it don't hurt to put a little lot of bread in that, Mama. Stretch that out. Now we're not gonna make all that into meatloaf because we don't want to eat meatloaf for two or three days. Uh, I'm gonna open these. Peas. We've lost them. Oh. Are y'all back? I'll open these peas and um, we'll have them ready. All I did was crumble up my bread and and my eggs and ketchup and cream. And I'm gonna get just a few crackers out of here. Not many. That's the story. <laughs> we might want a bowl of chili. We might even know we just had chili. I know it. And I ate three of those because of the cracker short. It was not really. Not good. really. You like free days. I like it that way. You, want, you ready to open that tomato sauce? Small one. I guess. Yeah. You see, it's wet, so you washed it. Uh huh. Yes, I did. In Mama's bowl. Let's, let's take you to Mama's bowl. I'm trying to do all things here. That is the bread and the crackers. And the ketchup. And the ketchup and cream and the two eggs. Oh, I got another piece of bread. Yeah, I'll and that'll stretch your meatloaf out a little bit. It's had bread. And this is going to be fried meatloaf. So it's going to be more like a hamburger patty with meatloaf. Um, we're going to fry them in the macro pro grill today. Because it's fast, because it's quick, and we don't, you know. We don't need to be here all day. We're gonna get this. We got home late from church and we filled around and uh, so here we are doing another late meal. Mama, what's got into us eating so late at everything? I think we're on the slow train because we're not, we peel around too much. Maybe that's it. Yeah, that's it. We're just old and slow, Mama. Well, I am. Here's these two. Thank you. Open for you when you need them. Okay. Put those legs, you don't have to worry about it. They won't cut you. And here, you're ready for your onion. I sure am. All right, let my, just step, step right here. This is an awful big sword here, Mama. But it sure does cut the onions good. This is what I started telling you so I go. It's one, not a medium onion. It's about a small. It was a small little thing. Um, and I did... I did just chop it up the hand up that right quick. It didn't take me long. But there it is. So in the bowl, we have our two eggs, our squirt of ketchup, a little bit of crackers, probably about eight crackers, and three slices of bread. Two. Two. Two, two slices. And that's going to be um, the binder. The eggs and the bread's going to bind that. And now Mama's going to put the meat in there. And she's going to salt and pepper the meat before she puts it in there and she's gonna put an extra seasoning on the meat. Well, I'm gonna lay it in there and then chop it in. Well, you're gonna salt it though. Yeah, salt and pepper. Yeah. And I'm gonna take about half of this. So about half a pound is all we're fixing, folks. And that'll be plenty, that'll make some patties. Oops, about lost half of a half now, a pound. Now, mama. And now, a little salt and a little pepper on that meat. Well, stingy. Here's salt. Stingy little shaker and there. Pepper. And then little salt, this. little pepper. Just shake, shake of each. Little black pepper on that meat. You want to just get it on there, or I do, just for the flavor. And of course, Morton's Nature Seasoning. If you can't get this, you can add a dash, dash of garlic and a dash, dash of something else. This garlic don't bother me. Yeah, I don't know why. It's got salt, pepper, garlic. It's got all kinds of stuff in it, but I cannot eat just garlic powder, but I can handle that. Thank goodness. It's not overpowering. You can't do it. You use <clears throat> small amounts, but you just can't. I can't eat any garlic powder unless it's boiled, 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 like in soup or something. Then we use garlic. I use minced garlic. Minced garlic. I start to say chopped garlic. Once you've been sick a time or two, okay. then you don't want any garlic powder. Let's see what you folks are up to. Mama, you can can you stir that? I sure am. It says, what kind of can opener were you using in the video I need to purchase? 
one, and I like the way it worked. Mary, Mary Trump, this is a this is a Tupperware can opener. I don't think they're on sale this month, but they're well worth their money. I love them. I bought up several at Christmas time. Everybody I gave one to for Christmas present. Absolutely love them. It doesn't cut anything. There's nothing in here to cut. Um, it unseals. There's no blades. There's no dirt. You see how clean? There, it unseals the cans. Here you can see where it's basically just took that tomato lid off. There's nothing sharp on the edges. There's nothing sharp on the cans. Because that's the little where it would have sealed to it. And there's nothing sharp. It's all smooth. Um, it's good for the landfill so you don't have cans out there to cut. It's good for home. It's good for your garbage because that ain't going to come through your garbage bag and cause a big mess. Neither will this. And if animals get in it, they don't get And it, If you're a crafter uh, and you make things out of used soup cans and peas and stuff like that, it's wonderful for crafting because you don't have to worry about later on being cut. You can take six cans. I've seen them craft with it. Tear the paper off. You can paint them or leave them. Or you can paint them and put cinnamon on them and make them look rusty. Whatever you want to do. And you can lay a board long ways. Nail six of these on that board. on the, Or three on each side. Put a handle on the top and make a carrying thing for, for all kinds of stuff. For garden tools. You can make a little carrier thing for your paintbrushes. I've seen all kinds of crafting stuff. Mama crafts every once in a while. She hadn't in a while. I remember when I was a kid, she, that's all she did for a hobby just about was craft. She didn't um, crochet or any of that. She just craft. Uh, she used to do, <coughs> what you, was it called a macrame, Mama? Uh, macrame. And ceramics and glue, peddling. Glue and mod podge. Yeah. Mama used to have a... I even made that paper baskets. <laughs> paper baskets. Back in the day, Mama had, I remember, it was a, I don't know what kind of basket. It wasn't a bushel, it was a tall bushel. What was it, Mama? Uh, a tall basket. It's a bushel basket. It's a bushel, bushel basket. It was a skin bottom and come tall. And she had painted blank. She had taken material and cut roses out. And she had Mod Podge. I like to say that. Mod Podge. She had Mod Podge the roses on that basket. And then she took a piece of cardboard. I don't know why I remember all the details of this basket. I guess I was amazed. She took a round piece of cardboard and put material the same as those roses. Stuffed that. Did you, was it stuffy? Some of, on top of the lid, but on the side it was. And made a hamper. And that was in her bedroom my whole childhood was that hamper. <laughs> and that's what she had for a hamper. Well, back in poor the folks. Back when made do. Mama so she was, we was poor, so we had to make do. I think we just made whatever Mom made was what we had to do. Because as I distinctly remember, we had a hamper in the bathroom. She was just wanting to make another one. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, Mama, are you throwing dishes? Yeah, I know. I'm starting to fix my grill time. Now you're going to put any Italian season or anything in this? Not Italian in my meatloaf. No, no. Not at all. 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 Don't you sneak over there. I ain't sneaking, Mom. I ain't leaving. You can trust. Ask my friends here. I didn't get out of people. What can I... Can oh, sorry, Mary. I just answered that. I froze. I freeze y'all. Then I go back and act like I'm talking to somebody else. Is there another scammer on here? Somebody said... If I see them, I will take care of them. Um, fried meatloaf today, if someone's asking. And well, then you can make me the sandwiches. Of in. Well, it's, it's going to be fried in the Micro Pro Grill. Micro Pro Grills are on sale. This is not a Tupperware commercial uh, or a demo, but we are using Micro Pro Grill. And the reason we're using it is because it's quick, fast, and easy. And that's what we would would normally cook in. But we do fix it in the skillet sometimes. A lot of times we like to fix things. That we know all y'all got a skillet, so we want to fix it so we know everybody can use it. This is the little micro pro grill. It's got the lid on it, the grill lid. It's $149, which means it's $190 usually, so it's on sale. It is metal, but it does go in the microwave. It's all grill. Mama just sprayed it up, and this is the grill lid. I'm just doing it quickly. You turn it one way on here, 
and it will go inside of your container, which will press down on the meat. And that's how we're going to start this today. Stick this down on top of the burgers, and it's going to grill them. Then we're going to turn it this way. Once she pours her tomato sauce on it, put it back in the microwave, and this is the casserole way. And that's, that's basically it, folks. We use it a lot. It's handy for sausage in the morning. It's handy, and it's quick. So these meatloaf patties will be done in about nine minutes instead of about 40 minutes or 35 minutes. Okay, let's see who else is on here. Love your lives. Thank you, Helen. We love the lives. At first, I had a phone that roared like a um, bacon front all the time when we was doing the lives. And people would say, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. So I just give up on them. And I told Mama, I said, the lives make me nervous anyway. Even though we never did edit, we never edit any of our videos because we don't know how, basically. I mean, just honest. Just being honest here. We don't know how to video. We don't, all I know how to do is pause. If there was any editing, it was editing on time. And I may go back to doing some of those, like when we make something that takes 25 minutes to cook, so we can have a, a bigger variety of things we can cook, we can start. But I miss the comments. So even when I'm doing a, a pre recorded one, I'm looking for y'all the whole time because I enjoy that part. Can you send the link for the pan? Sure, I will. It's Mama's Tupperware. It'll say March Tupperware Party. Uh, and I'll put it at the bottom. Um, if Donna is on here, she might put it on there and I can pin it. But uh, if if we have it, uh, it'll be in the comments. Facebook don't really like when you put links in your caption ahead. So we don't do it. Uh, <clears throat> so it'll be in the comments. And I'll usually put some stars or put some hearts or something to indicate it's one of Mama's posts. I know everybody does that, but... At least you can know what you're looking for. It's hard to sometimes see. Uh, it'll say John Davis or it'll say copy time, but most of the time I try to do it over copy time. And I'll put all of our links in there. One of them will be Mama's Tupperware Party for March. Did you leave us? Yeah, I was hunting for them. Leave that letter. Yes, ma'am. What was you hunting for? The gloves. Gloves? I'm not questioning the gloves. I was going to put gloves on, but. You washed your hands, didn't you, for Pete's sake? Uh, yeah, I washed them and left. Wet so that this wouldn't stick to them. It didn't dry. She washed her hands and then kept them wet so the meat wouldn't stick to it. Well, Rita, thank you for those stars. That's so sweet of you. So all she's doing is just like you would hamburger patties. Now, let's go back to what we were arguing about. I mean, talking about how I go, Mama. Oh, boy. This is yours. This are yours. You can put Italian seasoning in yours if you want to. Mama won't be at your house telling you can't put no seasoning in it. You can put a can of salsa in this and make the same exact thing. You can put, uh, leave a little room because you got them in thick files. They will flatten out. I'll flatten them out. And um, so Italian seasoning, a little bit of hot sauce. However you want to do them. A little taco seasoning. Someone said, what was it the other night they put? Uh, cheese and bacon. Sloppy. And sloppy Joe mix. Manwich mix. I was going to try that, but Mama's in charge today. She, When I do them, I'll try some sandwich mix. Uh, someone also recommended Hunt's uh, meatloaf season. We've not been to the big store to get it. Or McCormick's makes a meatloaf season. I'm going to try one or both of those on a meatloaf. So you'll be seeing some more meatloaf in the future. And uh, Mama's just making these up, as you see here. Now, if you're going to use these in a skillet, it's the exact same process. You just put these in a skillet on top of your stove. Put them on medium low. Don't want them to burn you them done all the way through. And you turn them over, char them on both sides. I'd recommend maybe five to six minutes on each side if you want them completely done and, and a little bit of char on them. Then you drain all the excess grease off. And we'll do that in this too if there's excess grease. But uh, we thought this would be quicker today for a live. And this is how we would normally fix them. I can't get it to stay up. It's by design, Mama. You don't slide around that horn. It's very secure. Well, that's good enough, I think. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. I think I need to lessen these two so that they will... Lessen? 
make them smaller so they'll all get done about the same amount of time. Okay, Mama. I'm not, usually more is, less is more. Huh, less is more. Well, I just thought there's a little big for the rest of the patties. There's a little tiny one that will eat that for lunch. <laughs> okay, you could have put this in the microwave with a, just a drop or two of water and preheated it. But that's all you have to do, folks. You see what she did? We didn't put oil or anything in. Oh, yeah, she sprayed it. I normally don't even put oil I in. I think it with the cream and spray it. I better spray it. And we're going to put this on grill mode, which is the lid down in on top of the meat, just like that. And this is going to go into the microwave for about, we're going to start out with eight minutes, see what we have, and we'll take it out and show it to you. Um, we're going to do it right here while you're waiting. It's metal, but it goes in the microwave. Don't ask me what. It's a shiny no, it's metal. Don't ask me what kind of magic's going on there, but it works. Whatever it needs to do, it works. This is just a one can of sweet peas, Mama. Where are you gonna fix these in a kettle? Mm, right now. We've got some potatoes on for mashed potatoes. We know y'all seen that. Mama peeled them up, diced them up, put them over there, and uh, this is just sweet peas right out of the can. We're going to put those on top of the stove and uh, they'll be done about the same time the meat is because you really once you heat your peas you're pretty much there with a little bit of butter salt in them. And then this tomato sauce will just be poured over the uh, meatloaf when we get it out. So, are you going to do the wampum croissants? Yeah, I think I will if I can find that can. It's or do you want just to do it by I'll do the croissants because I think they're out there in that refrigerator. Mama's gonna do croissants. Well, I want croissants today. All right. Okay, more. Are you screaming? Okay. Are you trying to get a hold of me? Do you put a glaze on? Oh yeah. Well, we'll put this tomato sauce on top with a little bit of brown sugar. Mm. Makes a delicious glaze, and we'll put a little bit of this uh, Heinz 57 ketchup right on top of there. Uh, it makes a wonderful glaze. Philadelphia in the house. Well, hello, Shane. How are you? Uh, do you use a lot of iced tea? We do. We do. Uh, we do decaf tea um, because... We're trying to cut back on caffeine. I know, I know y'all are going to start judging. Mama tries to cut back on caffeine, and I'm willing to help her with it. Uh, I drink a lot of coffee. I ain't really trying to cut I've back on the caffeine. I've used decaf tea, though, for 20 or 30 years. Mama's used decaf tea for 20 years, she said. Uh, so, that's what we drink is decaf tea. Um, you all sent us some. Thank you. You all sweet tea. We... We did try it. We like it. I, th I know y'all have seen it on other videos. I think they just sent them out to everybody. We appreciate it. Thank you, y'all. Sweet tea. And they did send us some decaf variety, and it was good. Uh, we also used lifted decaf. Now, this is the reason we call them wampum croissants, because you have to wamp them to open them. Once you wamp them, then they open right up. Uh, we used these last Saturday on Dorito Bay. And uh, they were delicious. Mama, you want me to roll these up and put them on your paint? I'm gonna get my paint on. I got clean hands, and uh, I can do that while you're stirring peas and potatoes. And oh, I done peeled the potatoes and did I did, Mama. Oh, you did. Mama, you don't listen Poor to. Mama, you don't listen to thing I say. It's like you don't even care when I'm talking. There's the pan; it goes to the inside. I'm giving Mama a hard time. Mama's in a fizz today. A good fizz. Mama gets in bad fizzes and good fizzes. Do y'all? When she's in a bad fizz, I just stay her clear and let her fizz. But when she's in a good fizz, it's, she's in a working mood and she's getting a lot done. And she's been in that fizz ever since we got rid of the COVID. This is just a pan. That pan looks huge. It's not. It's just a, a regular little pan for the Easy Bake. And I'm just going to take these 
croissants. I know y'all know how to do this. It's a triangle, and you just start with the wide end and roll them up. And uh, I roll them loose, just like that. I thought I heard rain, Mom. I hope not. I think I didn't. Um, I just roll them up loose like that, and they just swell up and make wonderful croissants. Now, one little trick I'll show you here, I start in the corner like that, and I'll put another one here, and then I'll do it. It works out better than me trying to guess the space and place. So this is the wampum croissants. We love them. They're fancy little rolls for Thanksgiving dinner and everything. Um, but we would, we could eat light bread if we need to, because sometimes we have done that. I like light bread with certain things. I like light bread with pork and beans and um, pork chops. I don't have to have anything fancy. It's wampum rolls, wampum croissants. Um, I won't forget into making some breads. I'll probably have to do a time or two without y'all so I can. I don't want to embarrass myself in front of my friends because I ain't made bread in years. Oh, or how many years? I said, well, no, I've done a year or two after I got out of high school. I thought it was neat that I could make it. So I did make it a year or two. You know, it's like anything if you don't use it, you lose it. And I used to make pretty good light bread in the moment. Yeah, you're very good. Dad liked it. He said, make me something good. Huh? It reminds me of, of, of your granny's hit But that's all I need to hear, just a little praise from Dad um, and tell me I did something like Granny did it. And that was, that was good times. So I'm making some homemade light bread. We would slice it and use it on sandwiches. Uh, I don't know. We, Your daddy just eat it. I think I got busy with college and this and that and whatever I was doing and just quit making is what I think happened. Uh, started working in a restaurant and I didn't want to cook all the time. See, if you start in this corner with this roll and then add two and then add three and then add two, you put one, if I had another one, I put one there. To me, the place that works out better than me trying to guess three, 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 I don't know. Is, is there any difference? Probably not. But that's just the way I, you get right back over there. That's just the way I work it. All right, Mama, there's your rolls rolled and ready to roll. Too many rolls in that weather. So what do y'all want to talk about? What are y'all eating? In your opinion, is y'all's, what, what's my opinion? Is y'all's decaf uh, tea better than Lipton's? Um, I don't think it is necessarily, but it's no worse. Mama, I really, to be honest with you, I didn't know. Uh, I just was drinking it, and uh, I said, Mom, would you do something different to the tea? It was delicious, and she said, this is that, yeah, I was like, well, it's good. So, um, Mama, do you like one better than the other, or just they're both really I good? I guess Lipton, but I've been... They can't hear you, Mom. I said Lipton because I've been drinking it for years, but to, for the difference, trying to find it and get it, it, it ain't that much. It was delicious. It's good. The Yaws is good, and the Lipton is good. Thanks for those stars, Joanne. Um, they're both very good. Um, I wouldn't, you know, pick one over the other necessarily. Mama is a creature of habit more so than I am. Bonnie, uh, I think someone could say it. Linda said, Bonnie ice fish or put them in the store. I don't know what that means. I made soft chicken tacos. Oh, wow, Chris. I love soft chicken tacos. Uh, they were very good, and she's not having a pork roast and fried potatoes, I think, or mashed. We are having meatloaf, if you're asking about us. I'm, I'm confused. We're having meatloaf, fried potatoes, and peas, mashed potatoes and peas. But I love soft shell tacos. Barbecue, vinegar, barbecue and vinegar slaw, baked beans, potato salad for dinner. Darling, that's kind of what we had last night. We didn't have no slaw, but all the rest of it, put you close to work and read. Um, 
I only drink Go Peak Sweet Tea. I like that tea you make, like from the store that you buy the Go Peak. I've never made any homemade. Do they make a homemade version? Can you make it at home? Uh, just had scalloped potatoes. Fried squash with hush puppies. That is good, Grace. I love all that right there. Sure, uh, Shirley, if you're on here, that's some of my favorites. What time is everything going to be done? I'll ask for, a fr asking for a friend. Thank you, Rose. Uh, it hopefully is going to be done in about, well, is that eight minutes, Mama? That was eight minutes, but I'm going to check it. Uh, the meat's been cooking for about eight Ooh. minutes, and hopefully it's going to be done as soon as these potatoes is done. I hope we're eating uh, by 10 till. That will be 10 more minutes. Ooh, Mama, that looks good. Bring that up here and let's look at it. This is the meatloaf since we put it in um, eight minutes ago. So it's cooked equivalent of 16 minutes because you cook on both sides at the same time. There's no flipping. There's no turning. Yes, ma'am. There you go. Set it right on top there. We're going to have to. Turn this, but I'm fully turned it. I'm going to drain the cream soft. Okay, wait, Mama. Let's look at it. These okay. people don't even have a chance to see it. Like okay. you have. So you see it's golden brown. That's the meatloaf. It's golden brown. The pieces kind of mashed together. You can see the pieces, but it's got a good brown on it. The bottom will be good and golden brown. And Mama's got just a little bit of residual uh, grease that come out of that chuck. She's going to drain it in this can. Go ahead, Mama, drain. You want me to do it? I'm going to try don't spill it, Mama. Well, it ain't that much. No, ain't much. Come out of here. You won't have much grease. And you wouldn't have to put any. Mama did spray it, but you don't have to put any in this. I don't. Um, now you want to turn one over and see if it's... It'll be fine. I'm just going to leave it right there. Ouch. Mm -hmm. It's cooking top and bottom at the same time. Here, I was going to heat it up. Are you going to hate it? You're going to mix the ketchup and stuff. I can, Mama. You want me to rather me do that live? I'm going to set this Well, up. we don't have to heat it. We're going to put it in here. Well, you can just mix it in. I'll mix it in this little pan that we normally would have heated it in. All right. We'll scan back there so y'all can see what I'm up to. So, I'm going to, if you can't see, just swipe those comments out of the way. I hope y'all can see right there. So, I'm just going to put probably a couple tablespoons of powder. Oh, people forgive me. You all know how I talk. This is not powdered sugar. This is brown sugar, and I'm putting two tablespoons. Okay. And now we would normally, if we fix this in a skillet, we would have put this in this little saucepan, and we would have heated it and stirred it. We wouldn't even have to really dirty up another pan. Could have put it right in there on top of that. Would have been fine. I'm putting about two tablespoons of Heinz 57 ketchup, and then I'm going to put a whole can of tomato sauce right here. Okay, that's all that we put in. Um, you can put a little salt and pepper. Uh, you can, at this point, put you some Italian seasons in here. If mom ain't looking. Mama likes the tang season. Oh, I can hear I don't want no tang season today. Can you put a little bit of sauce. Oh, I can in the sauce. Can you hand it to me or do I have to? I think you probably have to do it. No, I think it's right there on the bottom. And it's in that little side tray, the white one up there. So right there it is, folks. We won't put it in, Mama. I know you might not like it. You're just being generous. It's time to get these parsley. You're going to put parsley flakes? Parsley will enhance that other stuff. And you can put a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Here, here. I won't put any Italian season because sometimes the regular mama don't really like. She would let me and then she'd say, I'll just take that sauce off mine. So I'm putting salt and pepper and parsley. But you can put you some Italian season in yours. And it's good. Or you can put some onion salt in it if you want. It's good. So that's parsley, salt, pepper. And that's all we're going to put.
And then I'm stirring that in. You want a little nature seasoning in it? Because it's what we've got in there. Sure. If you want to, Mom. It has the celery. Mama, any spice you're willing to let me put, bring it, it, it up. It has the celery in the different flavors. Any okay. spice you're willing to let me put in here, I'll take it. I just got some tomato sauce on my coffee cup. So she's letting me put a little nature seasoning. Not much, just a little for flavor. Just gonna whisk that in. I'm just using this as a mixing bowl, really. And that's the little topping. You can cook this with celery and onions, and they call it Creole sauce, and condense it down, but you don't have to. Pouring this right over top of all that goodness. Mixing it in, just going to let it all go over it. That's it, folks. Then I'm going to turn the lid. Mama, did you bring the lid and I lost it? Oh, no, I set it over here. Oh, okay. So now, instead of grill mode, we're going to turn the lid the other way, Mom. On casserole mode. It'll catch on this side and on this side. You can see the arrows there. They'll match up. So now it won't fall down in that tomato sauce. And now we're going to put it back in there for about, what, three minutes. Or to condense it down good enough. And we're going to be ready to eat. The potatoes are done. Everything else is done. The peas are hot. And we'll be eating. And look, we got five minutes to spare. I said eating by 10, 10 till. It's just now uh, 14 till. It says, what time is everything? Oh, Becky, I froze you up. Come on now. Don't freeze up on the comments. When I make meatloaf patties, I put Campbell's mushroom soup. Now, that's a good way to fix them. We fix them that way with brown gravy. We've done meatloaf with brown gravy before and, and mushrooms. Delicious. Everything looks good, Linda. Thank you. No lie, I could nibble on that pan. I could nibble on that pan of meat and wouldn't need anything. Oh, we've done that before, Susan. We have fixed meatloaf and maybe the phone ring. You know how, how popular Mama is when we're videoing. And, uh, and what does it this meatloaf with a soft light bread? Pam, thank you for those stars. You're so sweet. Uh, now somebody's put a... Um, uh, somebody's putting some links on here. Gonna have to take those off. I don't, uh, we don't allow any links because we don't sponsor any links. And we don't know who you are. So we don't want any links added to our pages. And to be honest with you, I don't have time to do background checks on you. So I just ban you. And you won't be allowed to comment anymore. So... If you break the rules, I, I, that's just the way it is. Sorry. Uh, but you can't put a link on here to send someone somewhere else when I don't know even who you are. I think I got it. So don't click any links, people. And don't add any links. Because as soon as you add them or as soon as you ask somebody to friend you, I'm going to ban you. And it, you won't get back in. Uh, we want everybody who is good and honest and decent and respects everybody. And it seems like I have to say this every time. But if you put a link or a GoFundMe or anything else on any of our videos, you are banned. And that's just the way it is. We're all adults. We know the rules. And, and that's what we're going to do. So that's what it is. Okay. Back to the meat love. Um, so... We are going to do, Mama's make, look at this, she's trying to get the mashed potatoes done, folks. Mama? Yeah. <laughs> See, we startled her. She was in her own little bubble there. I was. Hello, Mama. I was hey, working. Mama, we've been talking over here while you've been working, girl. I know. I know this set a lot. And uh, we was just commenting on how fast she was and what the zone we was in. Mama, you going to drink anything? This is our... Lucky um, Tin Mug. The, you can get this. Okay, let's start back over. This ain't the Lucky Tin Mug. John, get it together. 
You can get one of Mama's aprons, the red, the black, the white, and this for the rest of the month for $35. It's left over from, from uh, Valentine's Day. Teresa said they love that little deal. A lot of people ordered that. I'm going to keep it. So go ahead and keep it going this month. So you can get this and the apron for $35, or you can get one of these, any color, and the apron for $30. Now this can be any color you want to, any color she's got on the line, you can get. So either one of those are mix and match however you want them. Everything else on the Etsy store, except for that bundle I just told you, is 10% off if you use the code, capital letters, LUCKY10, and that's numeric 10, one zero, LUCKY10, one zero, and it will take $10 off your total bill except for this bundle. So the bundle's not included in the 10% off because it's a great deal anyway. But everything else is all the cutting boards, the chore boards, everything on there, the coasters, everything on there is Lucky 10 March 10% off. It's bubbling, Mom. Mm -hmm. It looks good to me. We're going to cut it and see. Folks, it's exactly 150 and we're ready to eat. Mom, let's look here. I want to show you the spray. So there's that meatloaf, good and bubbling and hot. Here's the mashed potatoes, the peas, and look at those beautiful browned croissants that Mama made. That's really she wasn't talking to, she's cooking. Hey, John and Mama. Hey, Susan, how are you? Thank you, Mama. Well, I'll get us a napkin. Yes, Lord. You said that's the least you can do. You ain't done nothing else but run your mouth. It's going to be good to you. I know. You're not embarrassing me in front of my friends on Sunday. Folks, it turned out to be a beautiful day here. It's a little windy, but what do you expect in March? March is supposed to be a little windy, isn't it? I mean, that's just the good times of yesterday March. Yesterday was more than a little windy. Well, yesterday, you could have blown away. Well, now, you're, gonna, you're not going to get the patty right. Mama, I can see it right there. Can you see the patty? Yes, ma'am. Mama's accusing me of cross patting. I believe you did. No, Mama, I didn't. I promise. That's a patty. Mama, you know, you had to stick. I shouldn't have a spoon in there anyway. <laughs> she had to stick her own spoon in there. <laughs> Mama. I had it on my mind. You had it on your mind, and there's no coming back. Mama, go over and sit down. Let me serve you like the That's queen you are. That's a nut. It's a protein. Could you tell I was serving protein? And now I'm still serve peas next. Let's see how that goes. Sit down here like the queen you are, Mama. You've worked hard. You can have the rest of the day off. I'm going to do dishes. Ooh. Uh-huh. Well, listen to that. That's great. I'll take care of Maggie all day today. I have to. I have no choice. When I'm home... Maggie expects me to take her out, and I don't mind because it's it's beautiful, and I'll go out there and hit that swing, and I did get my coffee time in yesterday, folks. I went out, had coffee, I had some of that micro coffee on the swing, and the birds were singing, the, and the, our little our little uh, maple trees are pink. Now, are your maple trees pink? Those little leaves come on red, just beautiful red. The whole tree is just flowing with that burgundy, pinky color. I'm excited. Uh, what's on meatloaf? Just tomato sauce? Nope. Uh, who said that? I just made that up. Uh, Sherry, it's got brown sugar, tomato sauce, Heinz ketchup, and a little bit of nature season salt and pepper. And I stirred that up parsley and poured it in parsley, parsley flakes. And I stirred that up and poured it over top of it, put it back in the microwave for what you put in there for, Mama? Three more minutes. Three more minutes, just it's to eight condense for the it down. For, eight for the patties. Now, I'm going to give it a taste as soon as we bless it, and I'm going to give you a full report, and I'm going to let you see it. Now, we started this meal. The only thing we had started, which I tried to get the onions cut up before we come on, but I hit the button, and we was live for, Lord, it could have been, I don't know, two or three minutes before I knew we was live. I apologize for that. But... Uh, Y'all see, that's just how we are. We're just cooking and carrying on. But, uh, Mama, what kind of tea is this? Uh, you are. This is y'all's sweet tea right here. Um, 
I like it. It, it doesn't taste just like Lipton, but it shouldn't because it's not the same thing. But it tastes delicious. I love it. Um, Mama likes it too, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's bless it, Mama, and then you can eat while I talk because she's what you say I do. <laughs> Dearly Father, we thank you so much for this wonderful meal. We thank you for these precious hands that prepared it, dear Lord. We just thank you for all that you do for us, all you're going to do. And girl, we thank you that you'll be with each and every prayer request that's turning with each and every person, whether it's spoken or unspoken, dear Lord. Let God direct this in your will and your glory. In your name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try this delicious meatloaf. Now, my mama Ooh. makes a delicious meatloaf, and she, she can't be matched. See, it's completely done, folks. It's delicious. It's tender. Um, we just love it. I can already tell you, there's some future good meatloaf sandwiches coming from this. Mmm. Mama, that light bread made it good. It did. It didn't hurt it none anyway. It tastes delicious. I eat light bread and hamburgers and everything. I don't know if I've grown up. So bright light bread is good for binder. It's good for stretching. But you can't see the light bread. Not if you crumble it up small and mix it in with the liquid part uh -huh. first. <clears throat> it does good. Mama, they ain't a thing wrong with that meatloaf. That is delicious. And um, total cook time on it was 12 minutes. And that was including heating the sauce and letting it uh, get bubbly on top. If we'd have done the sauce in a kettle, we could have stopped at eight minutes on it. It is perfection. Can I come and stay a bit? Debbie, we wish everybody could come. We wish we could just open house and just have a big old party. <laughs> Mama would love that. Mama's been out in the garage, as y'all know, cleaning and rearranging, rotating the, the junk from one cabinet to another. And she said the other day, she said, I've been out there cleaning the garage, and I was thinking, I wish I was cleaning for a party or something. Now, let's make sure we know what I'm saying. Our parties are big family reunions with friends and family. It's all just good, wholesome fun, eating and talking and sitting around. Uh, playing horseshoes, you know, those kind of parties. Partying. Every time that music plays. Every time that music plays. Mama, come here. Maggie, hush. Mama, tell them goodbye. Goodbye, Mama. We're going to go and eat. Mama's going to say who's at her door. And we're going to say, y'all have a great Sunday. Find you something good to eat. Make you some memories. Get out in this beautiful day. We may come back live in a little while. Uh, who knows? But thank you all for being here. Thank you for the stars. You all are terrific. Have a wonderful Sunday. Bye, y'all.